Have you ever stopped to ponder how China, once a sleeping giant, rose to become the world's second largest economy? To understand the magnitude of this transformation, we must first delve into China's early history. The establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949 marked a significant turning point. The nation, under the leadership of Mao Zedong, embarked on a journey of radical change. However, the road to progress was far from smooth. The Great Leap Forward, an economic and social campaign initiated by Mao in the late 50s, led to one of the deadliest famines in history. This, along with the political purges of the Cultural Revolution, cast a dark shadow over the country's development. Despite these hardships, the resilience of the Chinese people never faltered. In the late 70s, China began to pivot, introducing a series of economic reforms under Deng Xiaoping. These reforms aimed to open up the country to foreign investments and encourage the growth of private enterprises. The results were nothing short of transformative. In a few decades, China morphed from a largely agrarian society to a global manufacturing powerhouse. The country's GDP skyrocketed, lifting hundreds of millions out of poverty. Cities sprouted like mushrooms, with skyscrapers and high-speed rail networks knitting the vast country together. The world watched in awe as China, once a symbol of isolation, emerged as a key player in global trade and politics. This rapid economic ascent, however, was not without its challenges. China grappled with growing pains, such as environmental degradation, income inequality, and a rapidly aging population. Yet, these issues did not deter the country's relentless pursuit of growth. From isolation to integration, China's economic transformation has been nothing short of impressive. This journey from being a sleeping giant to an awakened dragon is a testament to China's resilience and adaptability. It's a story of a nation that dared to change its destiny and in doing so, altered the course of global economics. But as China's economic prowess grew, so did the controversies and criticisms. Over the years, the country's rapid development and rise to global prominence have been marred by several high-profile incidents that have drawn international ire and scrutiny. Let's rewind to the summer of 1989, a year of revolutionary change around the world. In China, it was marked by the tragic Tiananmen Square massacre. Tens of thousands of students gathered in Beijing, calling for political reform and democracy. The government's response was brutal and swift, resulting in an estimated death toll ranging from several hundreds to thousands. This event sent shockwaves around the globe, casting a dark cloud over China's reputation. Fast forward to the present day, and we see the suppression of freedoms in Hong Kong. The vibrant city, once known for its freewheeling spirit, has been stifled by the national security law introduced in 2020. The law has led to the arrest of pro-democracy activists and the disbandment of organizations advocating for democratic movements. The annual Tiananmen Square Vigil, a testament to Hong Kong's resilience and spirit of freedom, has been banned, further signaling the erosion of liberties in the city. And then there's the ongoing situation in Xinjiang, which has become a flashpoint in China's human rights record. Reports of forced labor, mass surveillance and cultural assimilation of the Uyghur population have drawn global condemnation, further tainting China's image on the world stage. These controversies and criticisms have not only sparked international debates, but have also raised significant questions about China's governance model. They have highlighted the stark contrast between China's impressive economic rise and the alleged suppression of fundamental freedoms and human rights. While China's economic feats are undeniable, these events have cast a shadow over them. They have raised questions about the human cost of its rise, prompting many to ponder, at what price comes progress? And more importantly, is it a price worth paying? China's population policies have also sparked controversy. Over the years, the nation has experimented with various strategies to control its population growth, the most famous being the one-child policy. Introduced in 1979, this policy limited most families to a single child, aiming to curb the population explosion and promote economic growth. However, it's important to consider the unintended consequences. The one-child policy disrupted China's demographic balance, leading to a skewed sex ratio and an aging population. Today, China is grappling with a rapidly graying society, where the number of elderly people far outnumbers the young. This demographic imbalance puts immense pressure on the younger generation, often referred to as the only child generation, who carry the burden of supporting their aging parents and grandparents. In response to these challenges, China has made significant policy shifts. 
In 2016, the government announced the end of the one-child policy, allowing families to have two children. Fast forward to 2021, they permitted families to have three children. But these changes may not be enough to reverse the demographic tide. The cost of child rearing, coupled with the pursuit of career aspirations, has led to a decline in birth rates. This new demographic reality could have far-reaching economic implications. With fewer young people entering the workforce, economic productivity could suffer. The burden on social security and healthcare systems is likely to increase as the proportion of elderly citizens grows. The property market, a significant pillar of China's economy, may also feel the pinch as demand for housing declines. At the same time, these demographic shifts present opportunities for reform and innovation. They could prompt the government to invest more in automation and artificial intelligence to bolster productivity. They could also stimulate changes in the social security system and pave the way for a more sustainable economic model. China's population policies highlight the challenges it faces in balancing economic growth with social stability. As the world's most populous country navigates these complexities, the decisions it makes will not only shape its future, but could also have profound implications for the global economy. So, what does the future hold for China? Is it destined to become the world's dominant power, or will its internal challenges and international controversies slow its rise? As we gaze into the crystal ball of China's future, we are met with a mosaic of possibilities. China's economic prowess is undeniable. It's the world's second largest economy, and its influence permeates every corner of the globe, from the bustling markets of Africa to the high-tech corridors of Silicon Valley. Yet its meteoric rise has been accompanied by a number of significant challenges. Perhaps one of the most pressing issues is the country's demographic conundrum. China's population is on a decline, a trend that could have far-reaching implications. A declining population means fewer workers, which could slow down the economic growth engine that has fueled China's rise. There's also the question of an aging population and the strain it places on social security systems. The international community has its eyes on China too. Its actions in Hong Kong and the alleged human rights abuses have drawn widespread criticism, casting a shadow over its global ambitions. The stringent national security law in Hong Kong and the suppression of democratic voices have sparked debates about China's commitment to the rule of law and human rights. Yet despite these challenges, China's future is far from bleak. Its leadership is known for its strategic agility and ability to adapt. It has shown a remarkable knack for turning challenges into opportunities. For instance, it's harnessing technology to address demographic issues and is working towards creating a harmonious society. Among political analysts, there's no consensus on China's future. Some foresee it becoming the world's dominant power, while others predict that its rise will be tempered by internal and external challenges. As China continues its impressive rise, the world watches with a mixture of awe, anticipation, and apprehension. What's clear is that China's future will have far-reaching implications for the global order. And as we move forward, the question remains. Will China's rise herald a new chapter in global history, or will it stumble under the weight of its own ambitions? Only time will tell.